All right, so I'm going to show you how you would uh, use the same equation for skid speed um, to find something else. Like in this instance, we're going to be figuring out what the um, uh, the drag factor is on this particular car. So what I've done is I've set up a scenario. We have a car that's driving 60 miles per hour. Uh, when it breaks, it's going to have a 90% efficiency, and it will have 180 foot skid marks. So uh, again, we're going to basically put in here what we know and solve for what we don't know. What we do know is that the speed is 60 miles per hour. We know that the D, the distance, is 180 feet. And we know that the efficiency is, uh, so we don't know F, but we do know that the efficiency is 90%, so 0 0.90. So essentially, we need to solve for f. We've got to get f by itself. So in order to do that, what you'll do is uh, first you're going to square both sides to get rid of the square root. So on this side, when I take 60 and I square it, I'm going to get 3,600. On this side, we're going to have 30 times 180 times, I'm going to put this right here, 0 0.90 times f. Um, so hopefully you figure out pretty quickly after that step that we just need to multiply these three numbers so that we only have one number in front of f and then uh, it'll be simply division after that. So uh, we're going to multiply 30 times 180 times 0 0.90. Um, in, I'm going to do a little side work here. You can do that however you want to, but I know that 30 times 180 is 540, um, or sorry, 5400. And that's because I know that 3 times 18 is 54, and then there's two zeros to tack onto that. And then I'm going to take 90% of 5400. Well, 90% of that is the same as taking away 10%, so I'm going to figure out what 10% of this number is, which is 540 and just subtract that out. And that will be um, 4,860. All right, so I know I did a lot of stuff there in my head. I don't necessarily expect you to do that. You can just use a calculator, but you should get 4,860. So now uh, we're gonna divide 3,600 by 4,860. And I know I could simplify these two zeros off. Um, I know I can do some more with those other numbers, but I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator as well. Um, I'm just going to go to Desmos. Actually, I take that back. Let's see if I can use. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to use Desmos. All right, so that's uh, 3,600 divided by 4,860. All right, so I'm getting a coefficient <laughs> of approximately um, 0.74. We'll round to the nearest hundredth. That was interesting. Okay, so F is approximately 0.74. There we go, we solved for the, the drag factor.